Yo, is this thing on? Man, is this thing on? Okay, good. Man, I got to explain some serious stuff here. Some serious stuff that you probably won't even understand. Some serious stuff about 20-year-olds. They just go through some so much problems in life, and nobody understands what they go through. Nobody understands. It's such a sad story. But here, let me break it down for you. This is the way it is, man. They go through so much struggle. And nobody seems to care about it, man. This is what they say. They say, man, you don't got nothing to complain about. You're in your 20s, man. You're in your prime. And I'm like, what's my prime? You know, you're prime. When you're healthy, everything's good and everything's happy. And, you know, you're just happy with life. Prime? Happiness? Uh, maybe you weren't the same 20-year-old that I am. Because the 20-year-old that I am, man, he ain't taking it easy, man. He's going through so much struggle and nobody seems to understand what 70-year-olds and 20-year-olds Go through. Let's start from the basics, and we'll go, go chronically, okay? So, when I was 17, I remember when I was 17, way back in the day, I saw this girl, and I was like, hey, yo, man, she blows my mind. So, I called her up on the phone, and I was like, hey, yo, can I talk to you? And she said, no. Say what? And she said, no, man, you too young, man, I can't talk to you. What you talking about, fool? Click. Man, that's just too much for me to go through, man, as a 2017-year-old boy. And everyone's still saying, you're at your prime. Dude, I am not at my prime, man. I just like this girl because I was 17. I was too young. What you talking about? I'm at my prime. They say, oh, just get it time. Just get it time. I've given it time, man. I'm already 20 years old. Let's keep going up, man. When I turned 18, I saw this girl, man. I was like, hey, yo, what's up, girl? Uh, can I talk to you? Uh, no. Man, I was just living the prime, the prime. I was just living in the prime, man. That's what everybody says it was, but it wasn't prime. So what did I do when I turned 19? Oh, when I turned 19, that's when everything went crazy, man. I'd already been going to college for about a year. Found this girl. Well, oh, man, I'm going to talk to that girl. Say, hey, yo, I cannot talk to you. People are still going, oh, you're at your prime. Dude, I'm not at my prime, man. Just because I've been in college doesn't make me at my prime. I still ain't got a job, I still ain't got a car, and I still ain't got a girl. Everything is still dead. It's not my prime. So let's keep on going up. Then I turned 19 years old. Man, this was like the crazy years of my life. This was when I'm going, what the heck is the meaning of life anyway? Then I met this girl. Whoa. I decided I was going to talk to this girl, and I wasn't going to let her get away, neither. So I called her daddy up on the phone. That's the kind of sound their phone made. Hello? Oh, yo, what's up, man? I, I was just wondering if I could marry your daughter. I mean, uh, uh talk to your daughter. Hello? Ain't you gonna answer me, man, man? I asked you a simple question. Can I talk to your daughter, man? I mean, uh, future father or not? Question mark? He hung up on me. Man, what the heck, man? I had it all together, man. I didn't call the girl, man. I called the father. And everyone knows that is just the way to do it. I was even polite, man. Then at the end of that year, I'm thinking, okay, man, I just got to work for a car. I just got to get me a job. Then I'll be happy. Then I'll be at my prime. I still didn't make it to my prime. I went and got a job at McDonald's. I was making hamburgers. Minimum wage. I wasn't at my prime, man. I was making seven twenty five an hour. But that was before I got the wig. I was making seven thirty five an hour. That is not at my prime, man. So I thought, maybe if I get a car, everything will work out from there. Things will start to work out. So I went on Craigslist, you know. I'm on Craigslist, I'm on eBay, I'm on all these Rollinet stuff. I'm finding myself a car. Whoa. And then I found it. It was a Ford minivan. You know, <laughs> the classic found on road dead. Yeah, that. I bought it. Now I have this car. It's sitting out in my driveway right there. Right there. Right there. You can't see it because my computer's not facing that direction. Duh. But anyway, there's a car sitting out there, and I'm like, I got a car. Uh, I got a car. Uh, I got a car. Uh, uh. Okay, shut it up now. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm good now. And that's the sound that it made on the rope. It was a flat 
tire. I just bought this stinking car and I already have a flat tire. What is going on? I'm at my prime. Uh, I'm at my prime. So I took it to the car station, you know. I said, hey, yo, man, I got this flat tire, man. Can you fix it? Yo, sir, we can fix it for you. He looked a lot like Arnold Snortsnigger. So anyway, I got my car fixed and everything was happening all just fine. And then I was riding down the road. I got my car fixed. Uh, uh, I got my car fixed. I boo <laughs> My tire was flat again? I thought they fixed the dang thing! They didn't fix it, man. I had to take it back to the shop. I said, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you did not fix my car. Oh, look, we got a new hole. So I tried it out, man. My car's working just fine. I got my car fixed. I got my car fixed. <laughs> what? Now, the engine came off the engine mount. I'm thinking, dude, man, now I got a car and the engine's trying to jump out of it. So I got that fixed. Everything's chill now. And I'm finally feeling at my prime. Still not at my prime, man. After I got this car, I pulled into my driveway. I thought, man, everything's chill. I'm at my prime. Then I checked the mailbox. It's right out there. Don't talk too loud because another bill might come in or something. Check the mailbox, you know. I got this big bill in the mail. It said 80 bucks. I'm thinking, dude, I got 80 bucks in the mail. They said, no, it's a bill. A bill? What's a bill? They said a bill is something where you gotta give us money. I'm thinking, I gotta give you money? What for? Car insurance. I just bought this stupid car and now I gotta pay insurance on it? I just bought this new car and now I gotta pay insurance on it? And they're like, yeah, man, you gotta pay insurance on it. You pay the insurance on it. You pay insurance on it. Then I got this check in my mail from my new job, you know, a stock product at Walmart. And I love my job. It pays really well. And I'm not making hamburgers. I'm getting really bored. Do you like my hat? I love my hat. Okay, let's get serious here. Anyway, I got this check in the mail for my new job. And it said 800 bucks. Wow, I got 800 bucks, man. And I ran it up to the bank and I was like, Hey, I'd like to cash this. Can you cash this for me? Sure, I can do that for you. Would you like it all cashed or would you like some of it in your account? And I said, Sure, honey. <clears throat> sure, baby. Uh, I'll tab it in bulk. So she gave me this money and she put money in my account. And I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm feeling like a man today. Yeah! I got my car fixed. So then I went home and I found even more bills in the mailbox. And I'm like, I gotta pay these two? And by the time I got all of these bills paid, all my money was gone. I think I had like $400 left, but it might as well all be gone. But I still don't have any extra money in my wallet, man. It's like, it's all gone! Nobody understands. Nobody understands. It's like, all my money's gone. Everybody's like, you're at your prime. Dude. I am not at my prime. So let me sum it up. Okay, so I'm making hardly any money. I finally got a car. Oh yeah, and I got a cell phone. And you know everybody's like a cell phone. Like, oh look at my new cell phone. Look at this app. Isn't it so cute, man? I can make those little sheep fly through the sky. And I'm like, dude, forget your stupid phone. I have a car. I have a job. And I still don't have a girlfriend. And so I'm thinking, man, I'm now 20 years old. It's time to get a girlfriend. So I see this girl out in the distance. She's like flying through the sky. She's so pretty. Man, she blows my mind and I'm just like, I'm not losing that one. So I go up to her and I'm like, hey baby, can I have your number? Can I have your number? And she said no. You're at your prime. Yeah, I'm at my prime and the girls look hotter than ever and I can't do nothing about it, man. It drives me crazy. And I'm thinking, Money will solve the problem. I just need more money. I just need to work more hours. Uh, sorry, I can't work any extra hours. Um, it doesn't work like that. But another thought occurred to me. I just need to finish up college. Yeah, I thought of that one too. But I won't be out of college for another two years. At least. <clears throat> I don't like college. It's so stressful. It's like you go there and you give them this paper and you're like, hey, I'm really proud of this paper. You want to take my paper? Sure, it was really good. You got a B plus. Here, I want you to do this other assignment right here. Ah! I hate college assignments. Drive me crazy. They make me just want to rip out my beard. It's not really a beard, though. It's like a... It's like a fuzz. It's like a peach fuzz on my chin. You're at your prime. I'm not at my prime. This is peach fuzz. I'm done talking. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that I helped you understand that just because you're at ages 17 and 20 doesn't make you at your prime. Your prime is when you have the money to support a beautiful girl who loves God with all of her heart. And I'm still waiting. I'm just sitting here chilling, playing my Xbox.
I'd much rather have a girlfriend than an Xbox. No brainer! But that's okay. Man, I don't need a girlfriend. Everything's chill. I'm just gonna keep on wrapping up my music. I got my car fixed! I got my- Man, Everything's gonna be okay. So I hope you enjoyed it, y'all. Take it chill. Take it easy, man. I'm gonna rock this off button if I can find it.